before we go, just moving the body. So the first just vertical up and down. <clears throat> nice and heavy. The weight down. That's good. Good, good, good. Good. And then just go to the shoulder. So just roll in the shoulders. Just make sure the whole body does it. So roll the whole body. Hey, roll. Good morning. Roll the whole body. Good. And then backwards. Really open the chest out. Good. Okay, stretching up, back, just over to the front. Keep the spine long as you go. And then curling up, stretching down, extend the spine. Curling up the spine. Good, one more time. Good. Good. Okay, stretching up one side, reach up and then over to the side. Coming back, stretching up. More time, stretching up. Good, stretching up. Good, very loose with the body, rotating. And then just with the hands, you're just going to rotate to the back and just hold it slightly. A few seconds and then release. Hold a few seconds, release. Hold and go. Go. Good. Keep going. Good. That's it. Good. So just for the hips, big circles. Roll the hips. Good. The other way. Great. Good. Just slightly wider. Slightly wider than shoulder width. Just slip the body down. Stretching down. Keeping the spine long. Good. And then just looking over each shoulder. So you're just going to look over. Look over each shoulder. Yeah. Good. Keep going. Continue. As yeah. Good. That's it. Good, good, good. Okay. Then just going to the knees, feet together. Just come down. Bring the bring the backside, the bottom to the to the to the heels. And then stretching back. And then down. And then back. Good morning, Asia. Down one more time. Stretching back. Good. And then very tight circles. Don't rotate too far. Good. And then the other way. Good. That's it. Good. Okay, just bring the legs wide. I'm just going to rock very loosely side to side. Side to side. Good. 
and then just start to increase down. Keep the feet flat on the ground. So keep the contact with the ground. Just start to slowly increase the movement down. Yeah. Good. Until this leg's straight. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And then just hold it. A few seconds. And then to the other side. Good. One more time. Good. Good. And then just come down, bring the heel up and the toes point up. Good. Change side. And change side. Good. Okay, just for the feet, just hold the one leg up. You're just going to rotate the ankle joint, just in circles. Just rotate it. Rotate it. Rotate it. And then the whole leg. So rotate the whole hip joint. One way, the other way. Opening the hip joint out. Really flexible in the hip. And then change sides. So just the foot, just the ankle, one way, and then the other way. And then the whole leg from the hip, one way, and the other way. Good. We'll just do some stretches for the, <clears throat> for the shoulders, for the arms. The first one just across the body. I'm just going to hold it this way. Just stretch the arm out across the body. Good. And then change sides. Stretch it out across the body. Good. And the other side. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Good. Good. The next one, bring the hand over the back. Yeah, the hand on the top of the elbow and just press down, open the joint out. Good. If that's okay, take the other hand and cross it over the back. And if you can, take the fingers and increase the stretch by pulling down. So if you can get this. Good. Just hold it. Good. And then release very slowly. The other arm at the top, the other hand. Just press gently down. There. Good. Hold it. And then if you can get the other hand over the back, take the fingers. Just open the joint out. Very loose. Good. And then nice and slowly release. Good. You're going to take the arm behind the back now. You're going to take your own, take your own wrist with this. And you're going to drag it across the body. Release it. In this case, hold it. Release. Hold it. Release. Draw it across. Release. And then just change sides. But take your own wrist. Drag it across the body. Drag it across the body. So, so just release. Hold. This. This. You're going to lock the fingers here at the back. Stretch out the shoulders. Stretch out right into the shoulder blades. Good. Stretch out right into the shoulders. And then to increase, in this case, with the leg, just start to go down with the body. Yeah, and then draw the arms up. Look at the ground. And really open the shoulder joint up. Just try and really open the shoulder. And nice and slowly release it. Good. 
That's it. Good. Okay, we just go to the wrist and the, the forearm. You're going to take the arm and you're going to work all the way up the arm with a grip. You're going to really squeeze the grip. And the first one, you're going to make a fist. So as you, as you squeeze, squeeze the wrist. Squeeze the wrist. And you're going to do a kind of squeeze rotation with the arm. Squeeze rotation. So the coordination is this. This. And work all the way up the arm. This. This. Really try and grab as hard as you can. Really. This. That's it. Good. And then go on the underside. Roll it all the way down the arm. Forearm. All the way to the wrist. When you get to the other, go to the other wrist. So squeeze. And a slight rotation. Really up and down the arm. That's it. Once you get to the top, just work on the underneath. So, rolling. That's it. Good. And then you're going to do the same thing you're going to do now with a, with a cocky opening. So this hand's going to squeeze and this hand's going to open. So you're going to do the same thing. Squeeze with the hand and open with the hand that you're, the, that's being grabbed. So this. Just again, work down the arm. All the way down, and then back down. Squeeze and extend. Squeeze and extend. Good, and then change. Opening. Good. That's it. Got it. Good. Good. And then just for the wrist, like we do, the thumb down, like a nikyo, the hand over the top, this way, and just draw the elbows close to the body. Roll it down. And just apply it, release it. Apply, release. Apply, release. Good. Good. And then change side. As you change side, try and maintain the contact. So just play with exploring contact. Keep everything connected. Good. Keep the shoulders back and down. Good. And then we go into a kotegaishi. So from here, release. You go into the into this part of the hand. Take the rest of the hand and then just rotate it down. Again, keep the elbows close to the body. Shoulders back down. So release, apply. Release, apply. Good. And then change in this way. Good. That's it. You go to another variation on Nikyo. This time the hands down, and I'm going to take the thumb on top this way. So it's like this way. And in this case, it's like I rotate the, the little finger towards my face. So it's this way. So apply, release. Apply, release. Good. That's it. Good. Change sides. Good. Good. And then for, for like a sankyo, you're going to have the palm out, press the, the thumb into the middle of the palm, and you're going to roll it all inside out. So you're going to take the whole joint inside out. Yeah. And then in this case, take this slightly towards the armpit. Yeah. And then release it. And then apply it. Release it. Apply it. Release. Apply. Good. And then change sides. So the thumb goes into the middle. Inside out. Here and then here. That's it. Good. Got it. Apply. Release. Apply. Release. Good. Good. And then from here the palm down, take the fingers and take the fingers to point towards your center, towards the hips. So this way, and again, apply, release. Apply, release. Good. That's it, and then change. So taking the fingers. Good. Good. Okay, last one. You're gonna take the fingers together, rest them. Press the palms together, keep the contact, and then just roll the wrist. 
I really roll the wrist. So you can roll like a wave this way. Yeah, or you can roll this way. Just explore different movements. But try and maintain the contact with the palms in this case. This will force you to really open the shoulders and, the, and loosen the arms. Good. So really opening out the wrist. Good. Good. Okay, just rubbing the hands. Right. Good. And then shaking at the top. <clears throat> Good. Circles at the bottom. Good. Go to the feet, just shake them out. Shake the whole body. Good. Good. Okay, take a Joe. So we'll go just straight into a Jordan, uh, into a Chudan ski. So just from this position, just really find the ground, pressing from the back foot, and just nice and slowly crawling back, very calm, just pressing with the feet. So very slow, super clear. Find the kamai, find the ski. Yeah, just be very conscious of the ground as you do it. Okay, go ahead in your own time. And just change sides freely. So left and right side, just very calm. Find the ground, find the ground. So in this case, in the, in the case of basic, <clears throat> just really give yourself time. So give yourself time here, don't rush, and then press, find the ground. And give yourself time here as well. Don't rush out of the turn. So really take your time, find the back, root the, root the movement to the ground, and then really look for comfort here, and then come out. Yeah, so no rush at all. Don't kind of go in and out the move, bum, bum. Yeah, really take your time, slow, find the ground. Wow. Yeah, really take your time, especially with the movements in between. Those are the, those are actually the really important movements. So, take more time, much more, much more calmer. With the finish. Okay, so we'll make a change now like this. You're gonna make the thrust, and then from the back foot, with the back hand's gonna release, and then you're just gonna change above the head. So you're gonna in, change with the whole body. In, back foot, back hand, change above the head, find the kamai, thrust. Back foot, back hand, 
kind of look. Through. Yeah, super calm. Back foot change. Through. Yeah, in your own time. Give it a go. So just change into the um, Use the center of the jaw in this case. This is a very simple practice, but actually quite difficult. Um, what you, what you, what the tendency is, is for me to be pulled to the front. So as I go, I'm kind of in the front and then I lose the, the sense of the back. So in this case, really take your time. Source movement from the back of the body. And the back as you find this come out. So doing three clear movements. One, two, really find the back. Three, moving, really find the back, find the ground. Breath. Yeah. So try and, in this case, really try and fill the backside of the movement. This is this is where we tend to be weaker because everything's happening in the in the front, all the weights in the front. But try and really source the movement from the back. Find find the much more in the ground and in the back. Okay, give it a try. In your own time. Good. Nice, Inigo. Muy bien. Vale. Okay, we go. Now, you're going to go ski, haya gaishi. So it's <laughs> thrust, back, back hand, find the center, and then change the hand. So you change the hip, change the hand. So in this case, the ski, haya gaishi, back foot, back hand. The change happens the head, in the center of the jaw. So here, here. Yeah, give it a try. Ski Hayagaishi. Very slow, very clear. Mike, I yeah. thought we are doing Hayagaishi before, so what ah. was it before oh, you yeah. were doing? I'll show you the, the last move. Can you see my screen? Yeah. The yeah, last yeah. Is change. So the last movement is a ski. I change, 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 and I just go into ski kamai. Uh huh. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. Change, 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 and I just change. Back, back to Back to the, the mind. Okay. Yeah. This, yeah. Is a, this is an alternate way. We're used to kind of ski and then go. Uh huh. This this change, but you can also make a change this way. This way. Uh huh. Which, yeah. See the difference. Yeah. And yeah. I, yeah. In this case, you go ski, make the same movement, but I change the grip, and then I make the head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is what I was doing all this time. Okay. <laughs> okay go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> You're right. Good. Okay, so we'll do a set just for balance. We're going to do now the ski hayagaishi on both sides. So starting with the left thrust, left side, make the hayagaishi on the right side. Now from this position, I'm in a Ken grip. Now I open the movement out. 
find the right side thrust and then from here don't change the grip or don't change the hand just move it down the jaw and then find the second strike so again you got left side right side hayagaishi right side thrust left side uh, yokomenuchi yeah hayagaishi ski yokomenuchi in this case so it's four movements it goes one two three four it's down. Good, in your own time. Keep going. Both sides. There's a very subtle hip work. In the, in the third movement, you make this transition from, you go this, this. Now I'm in ski, I'm in, I'm in kenkamai. So I've just made a yokomen, yokomen. Now I need to adjust the hip. So my hand's not now on the back hip. And what I don't want to do is stay in place and draw the, draw the jaw back. What I want to do is press the hip in and open out. So at the same time as you move from the, from the hayagaishi, you're going to open the hip out and press into it. So you see my jaw doesn't, in this case, don't don't pull the hip back this way. Yeah, just press the center in in the movement. Yeah, and then this one's the same. Just that. So just explore the connection between the back hip and the hand. It's quite subtle. So. Good, very good. Okay, so we'll go to Ski Gerengaishi. In this case, we go straight to two sides. So you make a thrust, roll back, and then come in with the body this way. Now from here, just rotate the jaw back. Thrust, draw back, Gerengaishi. Yeah, so each time, just go to this movement. You go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Yeah, give it a try. So, ski, get engaishi. Both sides. Okay. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Okay, so just one, one, one detail. <clears throat> it tends to be quite common, especially in the Gerangaishi movement. So what you don't want to do in this case, is do these kind of movements where the, the head starts to kind of collapse down and the head starts to kind of collapse down you end up with the, this kind of crunched form so keep the keep the line of the spine extended the shoulders open so this work we did at the beginning of opening the shoulders out try and really access it here so from here it's very easy the shoulders are open here here keep the shoulders open and the head's an extension of the spine here now maintain this position yeah it's just that the body arcs the body inclines but i don't crunch the 
Pinch the, the spine down. So open, open. Keep the shoulders released through as you come in. Yeah, much more difficult in this movement, but see if you can really access the, the, the shoulders, basically a gate, and you want to keep it open. So you want to keep it open all the time. Yeah, and as soon as I go to this, naturally the, the shoulders start to collapse. Yeah, just try it. So just focusing on the head, the position of the head. It's just an extension of the spine. Yeah, that's it. Aaron, good. Very good. Nice. Yeah, great. Good. Very nice. Great, great, great. Oi. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Sorry, sorry, I was confused. You're in. What are we doing, Joe? <laughs> we're gonna go, I'll show what? You're gonna okay. go, we're gonna go work on, just go to ski, get on okay. okay. Ski, get on super slow, just work. Okay. <laughs> I didn't get into sleep last night, sorry. <laughs> Train with it, is my advice. <laughs> <laughs> Train with your corner. <laughs> Good. Okay. So look, dealer, keep, keep going as you are. For the rest, you're going to work on now in the movement. You're going to do the movement. You're going to, you're going to thrust in that pull and then strike through with the Gerengai. You're going to now thrust, pull back, strike through. There's kind of a keen and a guy, but with a pause in between. So thrust, draw back. Strike, roll back. Thrust. Yeah. We're done in, in two moves. Is it right, left? Yeah, you can change both sides. Okay. So, pull back. Strike in, roll. Good. That's it, very nice. Good, good, good. Okay, so there's, there's again, we, we kind of talked a little bit. There's, there's form and there's feeling. Now, in this case, yeah, form is really important. In this case, I don't want to be overbalanced and then kind of pull back. All these kind of things will, will deny my access to the, to the feeling level. But in this case, you're all kind of, you've all got a lot of experience. So try and go to the feeling level from here. So what you're going to do is kind of extend out, pull back. And then my feeling here is to open the hip and roll back. So it's much more. If the form's broken, I can't access it. But in this case, coming from the ground, rolling it. Even though this is slow, train with a full train with a full sense of en a full energetic connection. So I don't want an energy that's kind of that's kind of loose and sloppy, or that's kind of slow. So don't train slowly as if it's slow, but train slowly as if it's full of feeling. So fill the whole movement up, even though it's slow. Really fill the movement. We're training on a kind of energetic level as well as technical. This is important. Good. Good. Much better. Yeah, that's it. Good, very nice. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, great. Good. Okay, just one more point about it. On a technical level, where you source the movement from in the, in the rear, in the, the pulling back, 
here, don't adjust and then pull back. Yeah? What you want to do is from the, 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 the root of the movement, it's always going to come from the back of the jaw. So in this case, the movement's here, you're going to roll back here. So it's this hand. You can just try this as an exercise from here, from the back hip, back hand rolls back. Oops, sorry, don't do that. From the back hand, roll back. Yeah, so from the back hand, just pull the jaw back. You can do this both sides. The movement comes entirely from the back. Yeah, and the front hand just follows. So it just follows, but it doesn't do the movement. So don't do this. This splits me, and then I use force to it. So when you do this, just roll back with the body. Yeah, just try that. So break the exercise down a little. Just go to the pulling back. Yeah, in your own time. So we were looking at the hand, sorry, you were looking at that, you looked at the hands, the detail in the hands, but it's actually not a, it's not a change in the hands, it's a change in what I'm doing in the feet and the hips, so it's not entirely in the, in the, in the back, it, it's not in the hand at all, actually, so it's a kind of lie, but just to make things easy. So in this case, what you're going to do is press from the foot, so this front foot, sorry, I guess so you can see, Donk. the front foot as you press, you press from that foot, so the movement actually is, is rooted here. Here. There's actually a movement I make here. And then as I come through, my weight's already in, and then I just transfer to the back foot. So here, the, I don't adjust this foot. So this is basic. Basic level is coming in, coming back. Yeah, in this case, this is not basic. So it's this way. So I don't adjust the front foot. So here, just press in. Yeah, but I only ad I adjust the back hip. This. And then from here, press the weight through find the ground this way yeah so now just explore this which is basically compression work in the feet so you press in roll out press in roll out yeah so try and split split your mind between the feet and what you're doing with the hands and the jaw much more at least 50 percent feeling in the feet if not more actually 100 you had a hundred percent feeling in the feet a hundred percent feeling in the jaw you can do both it's not maths Feeling. And then in this case, just bring it all together now. So start slowly, very slow. So you're going to in, roll back, roll in. So now just there's one movement. Thrust, roll back, roll in. Purely hip work in this case. Roll back, thrust in. So the, the, the hip work in the foot becomes much more efficient, much more minim minimalistic. So in this case, here, 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 here. Yeah? Wow this way yeah give it a try so much more minimal in the footwork but keep the same feeling keep the same compression now just go for more much more efficiency hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. 
That's it. Great. Okay, good. And then if you like, you can explore this. There's kind of another another level you can go with it where you, it just really becomes a movement. So in this case, you thrust it, thrust through. So you thrust, strike, and continue. So now it's really one movement. Thrust in, thrust in. So now my, my feeling is not of retreating at all. So we go from the basic pattern, advancing, retreating, advancing, retreating. And then at the second level, the, the connection becomes flexible. Yeah. But there's still a sense of kind of rolling back, retreating. Now, in this case, don't retreat at all. You just advance, advance. So advance, 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 advance. It means the hip work's just going to come straight through. So I make the transition here, roll through. So here, the transition is made here, through. So just advance straight through with it. Yeah, give it a try if you like. So you can explore all three levels. So you see Kihon, Yawarakai, Agare, and then Kihon Agare. Very nice. Good. Okay, good. Just put this to the side. I think we need a little bit of Taisabaki. So we'll focus on Taisabaki and Kokyu. So <clears throat> the first one from Hami. From the back, be neutral here, and then just roll and press. Yeah, and then come back. Find a neutral position. Extend through the cocky with the ground. Yeah. Really in the same kind of feeling sense as you do with the thrust. So rooting the movement in the ground, pressing forward, finding stability, and then to, the, to, the, to another side. Press, compress, compress out. Neutral into cocky. Yeah, give it a try. So just a basic forward slide. So one of the key points in the in the cock, in the cocky work is that the, the weight is under is underside. So Tohei Tohei Sensei sometimes talks about weight underside or weight underneath. In this case, the weight's on the underside of the arm. Be careful not to over rotate and be in these kind of positions. In this case, don't go into into this kind of position, but use the underside of the arm so that you're creating an arc here. 
which links to the backside of the body, to the rib cage, and to the, to the, to the gluteus, gluteus maximus, this way, this way. Now, if I go here, this is a different kind of movement. So this, keep the weight really on the underside. So my feeling sinks down, feeling sinks down. So it's not just a movement in the hand, it's, it's a movement of the whole body. My feeling sinks, feeling sinks. So drain down your feeling. The weight underneath, basically. Good. Great. Okay, good. So this is working like a linear way. Now you're going to work like a Zengo. Zeng this is like Zengo Koku. So you press one side, rotate, and then you go to the other side. This time the, the rotation's included. Rotate through the feet, extend. Right, press on the ground, extend. So it's like Zengo Koku. Just rotate through the footwork, press. Yeah, nice and calm. Let's go ahead. <clears throat> So try in this case, really focus on what you're gonna do is like arc into the ground. So in the same way, in the same way you do with the Joe, when you make the movement, my feeling arcs into the into the ground. No, in no sense do I push out of the ground, but my feeling enters the ground. So it presses in. So my feeling drains down into the ground in an arc. So the same feeling here. And especially in the rotation, move here. Now as you rotate, arc into the ground. Arc into the ground. But don't rotate out of the ground. Arc into the ground and then press from it. So really using the ground, keeping the ground pressing. So really look for an arc which runs through the ground. Here, here, yeah. So again, it's a feeling, feeling level. That's. Right. Okay, so the next exercise goes to Tiny Henko. So, neutral, find your extension. Now you look for a circular movement. Try and do this in one movement. So, roll in here. Now, from here, just change the feet. Go to neutral. Extend, roll, find the ground. So, now using a circular pattern, rolling to the back. Change the feet, extension, rotate. Yeah, go ahead, in your, ankle, in your own time. Good. So again, this importance of weight of, of the weight being underneath. Now, in this case, super clear. My weight is not on top of the body, so it's not in a case of this, but it's in a sense of this. It's really in a in a clear sense. The weight is un, under on the underside of the arm. The shoulders down. As soon as I as soon as I tighten or I give too much too much focus here, what happens is the sh and the top of the shoulder engages, and what I want is for them to disengage. I want the underside of the hand. To the, to the elbow and the back of the shoulder. So the shoulder blade opens out this. So this, this kind of feeling and not this kind of feeling. This will unbalance you. So from here, maintain this side. Coil through. Extend coil. So the weight is the body. As if something heavy is hanging from the, from the arm. Lost the video. There we go. 
Yeah, good, Adrian. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Okay, so the next one we'll go to is, is Mercer Doi Copy Hole. So if you start neutral, find your extension, both sides. You're going to coil in now here. Find the center line, rotate to the back side. Now, with the extension pressing from the front foot, coil over to the back. Keep the weight underneath again. And then just find the other side here, extend, find the center line, dropping the elbow, shoulder, hip, feeling. Drop, rotate to the back and from here press from the foot and stand over head so like morotorori copy hop solo Good. And then the, the, the kind of image in this case, or the, the feeling in this case, is much more spiral. So we've gone to from straight lines to kind of arcing through the ground, circular movements, and then in this case, what you're definitely spirals. So the hand work, the bodywork is going to spiral in. So from the center, there's a, really a sense of coiling spiral. And especially here, don't just kind of lift up and go over the top, but have the sense of spiraling with the handwork. So the handwork does like this kind of work from the center. Coils through, spiral from the ground this way. Yeah. So have the, have the really the image of a spiral. We'll just look for spirals in the movement. So all the way, spiral, spiral, spiral. Yeah. Go ahead. It's kind of two clear spirals in this case. That's it, good. Yeah, very nice. Good, much better. Okay, and the last exercise we'll do, we'll do like a shomanuchi eriminage. So, in this case, really a clear wave. So, in this case, from this spot, we'll go straight into the shomanuchi here, pressing forward with the front hand. So, the front hand strikes in. Yeah. Now, from here, coil in with the body this way, step from the back foot, coil in, find the extension, connect over this way, and then take a second step down into the ground. You know, release the cocky down. So from the from the front foot, Shomanuchi here, coil in from the back side. Find the extension, coil over with the grip this way, and then from here take a step and extend down, and then lock the spiral. Yeah, give it a try. So Shomanuchi, Iriminage in solo. So you make the Shoman, coil, coil. Press. Good. So the kind of feeling or the, the feeling image that you have in this case is like a wave. So 
So it's really like a, a quality of the a wave from the ground, oh, super clear. From the ground, waves up, and then you roll in. Now this movement comes from the ground, and it transfers into the arm. There's a very clear kind of wave movement. So once you've got this sense of spiraling, if you unlock that spiral, it starts to become like a wave movement. So from the ground, this way. So just explore now a slightly freer connection and just look for a sense of a, a wave through the body. So softer now. Take the focus out of the technique and just so the quality of the movement, which is really away from the ground. So. Okay, good. And then the last point, again, any with the, with the work we did on loosening the shoulders again, so the, the shoulder gait needs to be very free and relaxed. The moment I, I include, the moment my extension actually locks the joint up, I'll block the wave. So I can't access the wave. If my joint's locked, I can't access the wave. Okay, so you need to really release the shoulder, really shoulder. So the wave needs to transmit it through. The moment I lock it, gone, it's gone. It goes, and then what you need to do is just unlock it. So just play from here, this position, just, just play with waving from the ground. It's not in the hand or the arm, but the shoulder joint needs to be free. You need to be a bit stupid when you do this. So the, the arm needs to be kind of dead, as if there's nothing really in it. So transfer, transfer the ground through the hand, but don't lock the joint. So loose, press, loose, press. Mm -hmm. it's the same we use all the time it's just more clear so ground hip and center to periphery just play with that good good and the best way to work on this for me is go small and 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 precise so that the hand just is moved by the hip so very low and small movement and then you can increase it so work basically increasing, decreasing the movement. Really wave through the body. Wave through, wave through, wave through. The bigger the movement, the harder it is to find the connection. So go small and go big. Go small, go big. Yeah. But smaller is easier for the connection. Just play with it, both sides. And then you can do a few, just go back to the technique. So coiling in, waving through, keeping the joints free, waving through. Good. So there's a kind of order of that <clears throat> we'll finish now, but the order from that is working first with a straight line. So just moving in a straight line with a sense of cock you. Yeah. And then the second set is working with a sense of arcing into the ground. So you look for arc in the ground. The third kind of Henko is really looking at circular movements. So circularly rotating into the ground. Yeah, Marota Dori goes to spirals. So you're really working in spiral work. So spiraling in, coiling in. And then we, we did Shomenuchi, Riminagi. You can take any technique, Ikkyo, Nikkyo, whatever. All of them work on waving through the body later. So in this case, the Shomenuchi works on a wave through the body. 
So you wave through the body this way. But you can do that with any technique. Okay? So that's the kind of order I use for the Taijutsu body work. Okay, good. We'll take a bow out and then if you've got any questions.